Hi everyone, so this is going to be my eight week um, pregnancy vlog update. And um, as far as symptoms go, I'm still having nausea and it's just gotten worse. I haven't like thrown up or anything, but um, I always think I am going to. It just feels like I'm going to, but I haven't yet. So I'm really, really hoping I don't. But some days I feel like if I just threw up, I would be, you know, feel like a whole lot better. And it comes any time of the day. Um, a lot of times it's usually when I first wake up and like late at night and then like I have to eat, you know, late at night, which, you know, I usually don't eat late at night. When I started my diet and everything, I stopped eating after eight o'clock. I would have dinner and then after dinner I wouldn't have anything else. So, and some days are better than others. Some days I don't have the nausea at all, but, um, on most days I've been having the nausea. And with Ella, I didn't start it till I started at six weeks with nausea. And um, like at five, four or five weeks, I started with just twinges of nausea, like, oh, you know, it's just a passing by kind of thing. But this is actually like the really bad nausea that I felt with Ella, like beginning of six weeks with her. So I'm really tired. Um, I don't have a whole lot of energy. And some days I do have energy. When I do, I, um, I tend to overdo things and... Um, from the time, like, I was five weeks pregnant until, like, seven, I was having, like, the lower back pains, and that was really, oh, but now the only time I get lower back pains is when I do overdo myself. Like, if I have, like, a lot of energy that day, and I clean the house up, and, um, I do the dusting, and the vacuuming, and, and everything, um, I mopped the, I cleaned, um, my entire upper part of the house this on Thursday on Thanksgiving and um, also cooked as well so my back was aching all that day but it hasn't been aching since and um, but yeah and just really tired all the time like um, it's not that I go to bed early it's just like some parts of the day I just would love to just like take a nap <laughs> of course usually I'm either at work or on the weekends I'm taking care of Ella so or I'm trying to get things done and we're out and about or, or whatnot so I don't get a whole lot of nap time really <laughs> um sometimes it's just nice just to lay down for about 30 minutes and that usually helps some so I did buy the preggy pops for nausea they help a little bit my favorite ones are the sour raspberry and the sour tangerine that I have not tried the green apple, which is, of course, this green one here. And they have lemon, and the lemon makes me absolutely gag. This stuff is, ugh, I don't like that one. But I have lots of the orange ones left. I ate all the raspberry ones. So I take these to work with me, just like when I start getting, like if I start feeling like I'm going to get sick, I'll pop one of these in my mouth, and usually it holds me over till I can get something to eat or drink or whatnot. So, um... These are all natural, drug-free, doctor-recommended, and um, they're great. Um, I've seen the Preggy Pops, but they, I don't, they didn't really have any of the flavors I really wanted. They had, like, ginger and those kind of things, like, but they had some weird flavors in there, so I just bought the actual Preggy Pops, and I got these at Babies R Us for $4.99, and they're the only ones, and I think Motherhood sells them, but I haven't been in Motherhood for a really long time, so um, I'm trying to think of any of the other symptoms, like my chest is so really really sore and um it's getting bigger <laughs> um my mom noticed that yesterday when i was at thanksgiving dinner she's like oh my gosh you know your chest is getting big well yeah i'm pregnant you know hello that's gonna happen and um when i was breastfeeding ella i probably was like close to a triple d almost <laughs> so um and then when i started losing all the weight um, they started getting really small. Now, they're just huge, of course. So, um, my mom, like, really noticed that. Um, so anyways, I think that's really it for the symptoms. Um, nothing really, like, no, like, really weird symptoms or anything like that. But I do have, like, I don't know if you can see, but I've got some zits, like, over here on this side. It looks like just some popping up. And I had, like, one on my chin. Um... I broke out really bad when I was pregnant with Ella, and the doctor wouldn't let me use Proactive, which is the only thing that works for me. So I don't know. 
Um, they say benzoyl peroxide is, is okay to use during pregnancy, but some doctors say no and some say yes. So I just, I don't use it when I'm pregnant. I just don't want anything to happen and blame myself for it because I used proactive or any of the things I did. Um, also sustaining from caffeine is really hard too. Like I, I never drank soda. Like I would drink water. That's all I would drink. And, um, this week water was totally repulsive to me. Like I didn't, just did not want to drink it. And, um, all I wanted was ginger ale. So <laughs> we bought lots of two liters of ginger ale and Canada dry to me tastes better than the Seagram's one. Ugh. Seagram's, I don't know. It doesn't have as much fizz as what Canada dry does. And of course we have saltines in the house and I just particularly like eating saltines anyways. We have a lot at the hospital like where I work at and um so I eat some saltines from there sometimes and um they also have graham crackers and peanut butter and peanut butter is like a protein kind of thing so it really helps um with um like nausea and stuff so if you make like a, a snack that's got like a lot of protein in it and then um they say like it really helps keep the nausea away and um, I've been trying to eat, you know, well, and some things I crave, like sugary kind of things. Um, and sometimes I just let myself eat them. But I, I don't want to really gain a whole lot of weight. I started this pregnancy out between 106 and 107. And um, right now I'm up to 109. So I've gained between 2 and 3 pounds, which um, with Ella, I didn't gain any in the first trimester. but. Um, this time it's just a little different because I'm having to eat more and I'm a lot hungrier. Um, I'm hungry all the time with this one. So, anyways, but <laughs> enough with the symptoms. <laughs> I've spent like almost seven minutes on symptoms. But um, we bought the baby, its first outfit, which we bought Ella before we even knew like I was eight weeks pregnant when I bought the first outfit for Ella. We didn't know what she was and it was a little ducky outfit. And, um, so the, this one, of course, it's a little ducky outfit because it's all the gender neutral stuff they had. Like, they don't have a lot of gender neutral things, and I don't see how people who don't find out the sex of their baby even have clothes when the baby's born because they just, I don't know if they just buy newborn clothes and then after that they go and have a splurge or something. I don't know. You could do that, but I like knowing, you know, what the baby's going to be and stuff, so... Anyways, but it has little, I see three little duckies on this little onesie, and it's got like a little cardigan, and little pants, which have the little ducks on them. And um, this outfit was originally $20, and Baby Zaras had, um, everything was 50% off, the Carter stuff was 50% off, so I got it for $10. So very cute. Um... I was looking for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Monday sales as far as like cloth diapers and things like that because I am interested in doing some cloth diapering. Um, right now we have about, as far as like one size diapers go, I think we have about 15 one size diapers, which that's, you know, a good collection to start out with. Would I like some more? Yeah, I would love to order some more. Um, and the best deals that I've found um, for Bum Genius are, of course, the buy five and get one free, and then the 20% off is what a lot of the um, online stores are running right now. So, anyways, but I'm so torn between if I'm going to completely cloth diaper, which I don't think I'm going to really be able to do that. I don't know if my daycare is going to allow me to do that. I would love to, but I just don't know. Like, I have to ask um, the director. Because I would like to know that before I, like, really buy a whole, whole lot of things. Because um, I, as far as, like, what I would need, I would like some more cloth diapers and a diaper pail liner. Um, we just use the wet bag right now with Ella because, and of course, we don't have her in cloth diapers anymore because she's, we're in the process of potty training her. So, I would only need a couple things and I would like to have a diaper sprayer. Um, and so, when I went to put this outfit in the closet, um... Ella's room is going to be the baby's room. We're going to move Ella out of her room. Probably in February when we find out what the baby is, we're going to move her out of her room and put her in um, the spare bedroom. Um, she watches TV in there. She likes it in there. She probably spends any time in that room anyway, so I don't think she has really a huge attachment to it. So if it is a girl, it's going to stay pink, and Ella's room will be purple. 
if it's a boy, then we'll have to paint two rooms, but that's no big deal. Um, so I'm starting to put all the baby's things in her closet because right now all her closet has in is summer clothes and we need to move that stuff out and put in her winter clothes, but a lot of her winter clothes I've just put in her dresser. Um, I don't think we're going to have a dresser for this baby. It's just going to be um, her, like, as far as, like, is Ella, like, her stuff's going to stay in the dresser and we'll just move the dresser over to her room. Um, we might change our minds about that. I don't know. It just depends on how much stuff we have. And so, anyways, um, I found this little outfit in the back of Ella's closet, which this is um, a brand new outfit. I bought this four years ago before we even got pregnant with Ella. And um, I bought, I loved Dumbo. Of course, I still love Dumbo. And this is a six and nine month outfit, or no, three to six month. And then it's got the little rattle that I bought for it and the little shoes, which is really cute. So I saved this outfit because um, obviously Ella was not a boy. So I also saved this one, which this one's a three to six. And this one is um, a really cozy, snuggly one. So, and then I got this one, which this one is a six to nine months, so I don't even know um, if I'll be able to use this one, whether boy or girl, because um, they're going to be born in July, so this is probably going to be huge on them, so I don't know, we'll see, but yeah, I got these like four years ago, and um, so they are, um, the Disney Store's old stuff, but new to me. Um, anyways, and so, we, and talking about, you know, as far as, like, planning for the baby and where the baby's going to, like, be and everything, and um, that'll all happen in February when we find out what the baby is, and we'll start painting the rooms and, and whatnot. If we have to paint one room or two room, I don't know yet. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, and the other thing I was going to tell you guys, um, not, I guess, next Sunday, a week from today, because I'm making this video today. I had so many things going on yesterday. I couldn't post um, a video yesterday. But um, I'm going to be doing the Intelligender next Sunday, which I'm really excited about that. Um, I didn't get to do that with Ella. And so I'm going to be doing the Intelligender. I'm also going to be reviewing it. And I'm going to be doing a, a giveaway. So look out for that. Um, probably do the giveaway next Sunday, starting next Sunday. And I don't know when it and I have to figure that all out. But um figure out all the logistics of all that. So anyways, but I will be doing a review and giveaway. So be on the lookout for that. And um, I'll post the results and everything on Sunday because I'm going to do that on Sunday morning. And um, like if I would have been on time with like my period and everything, it would have been today. But since I'm only nine weeks, they uh, want me to take the test at 10 weeks. So um, anyways, what else? I think that's really about all. Um, as far as like baby names go, we are clueless on baby names. We don't know of any baby names that we really like. Um, I won't tell you the one that we really, that we like just because um, I'm not going to reveal the name probably until the 20 week scan. If we even have the name picked out by then, <laughs> we're going to wait until we know what the baby is just so that we don't spend a lot of time on one or the other names and then not even use it. Um, so with Ella, we had a boy's name and not a girl's. We had the first name. We didn't have the middle name. And so we had come up with a boy's name and had to totally throw it out because she was a girl. So anyways, I think that is about it. If you guys have any questions for me, just let me know. And see you next week.